All right, quick video, just to follow up on this thing. Uh, I tried to make it work on that wooden platform. I thought that that would uh, give me a good place just to just to build a template. And it is over there, and it didn't work. Uh, the wood was just too flexible. So uh, as soon as I tightened everything up, the stator would warp. Uh, the magnets would pull the stator all around. So I cut it out of this plate here. I, I meant to have a video of all that process, uh, but it ended up not really turning out quite correctly. Uh, it didn't look good. So basically what I did with this plate, it is a seven millimeter thick plate. Uh, you, you make this out of any any kind of steel plate, I would say it needs to be at least 3 8 inch thick or half an inch thick. Uh, everything else I did exactly the same way. Uh, the only thing that I, I did differently was that uh, instead of trying to drill the holes for the stator in exactly the right spot, I also uh, bored those out a little bit and it just gave me a little bit more freedom to flex things around. When I got it all put together, it's still using this one inch threaded bar as an axle. Whenever it comes time to put a rotor on it, this is how that rotor is going to mount. It's going to bolt right on here. And I'm going to show you guys what my, my ultimate plan with this thing was. I'm going to get two of them going together. I wish you guys could, uh, it doesn't make a noise turning it, but there's a resonance to it. Hopefully it won't cause too much trouble. Now, I wanted to, uh, I had this vague hope that maybe since uh, there's no way that these stators could be in phase with one another that I could run them both through the same rectifier. It doesn't, doesn't work that way. It just breaks, but oh well, not everything can be easy. Okay, uh, I am going to build a rectifier plate to where I can hook both of these up to a rectifier and uh, I'm gonna run them together to my battery bank and see what the two together make. Now, I expect that my drill is not actually going to be able to turn it. I am almost 100% positive I'm going to have to come back to these and redo the connections on the stator for a lower voltage. I haven't found a way to get around that yet, but I'm going to try and just see what happens. Anyway, that's that. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'm going to update this soon. i got a little bit of free time on my hands now. So uh, stay tuned. Stay safe. Good night.